Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Reviews Stuff. And this is kind of a different video than I ever expected to make on this channel. But you know, after thinking about it and talking to a friend of mine and seeing a lot of videos that you hear about a product but you hear a different reason to use that product than it's normally known for, I thought, you know, I'm gonna put this out there because this is something interesting and I don't know that I would have thought of it before it was just kind of like in front of my face. Um, so it's kind of a life hack, it's kind of a review of something that happened with a burn that I have in my hand. And I'll tell you the story in just a second. I will say before going into this that if you're going to follow this life hack or this suggestion or whatever for the way I used it, you probably should consult with a doctor first. Um, I actually did consult with a doctor before I did it. I consulted with my father, and he is a plastic surgeon, um, a hand reconstructionist. That's his area of specialty. He's retired, but um, he, you know, practiced over 35 years as a hand reconstructionist. So it was a burn on my hand, something he knows about very well. And when I actually reached out to him originally, the day after it happened, and I sent him a picture of what had happened, he said, no, this is his diagnosis. No, you're completely fine. You're just clumsy. So, um... I didn't really do any other kind of treatments on it. You know, he told me to put some aloe on it and to keep it, you know, clean with like fresh water, not to use fragrant soap, things like that. Um, but he said he didn't think that anything, you know, horrible was going to happen. But it, it kind of continued to get worse and worse and worse. So let me tell you what happened. And I have some props for you. Um, I was at a 12-step meeting. So I have been sober since I was 22 and a half years old. My sobriety birthday is December 17th of 1994. I've been sober for 24 years. Um, and when you go to 12-step meetings, you often there's often coffee there, and you get coffee. So um, I went into the meeting, and the meeting had just started, and I was in the kitchen, and the kitchen you can kind of like see into the meeting. And I got a cup of coffee. Now, this is the prop that I'm using, but um, it was actually, I don't have a styrofoam cup here, but it was actually a styrofoam cup about this big, probably. And so, at this said meeting, they make coffee in a percolator, which I've now had that song stuck in my head for over, two, this was two and a half weeks ago, okay? Two and a half weeks ago, it was two weeks ago last Tuesday. Um, I've now had that song stuck in my head. It's time for the percolator. So anyway, <laughs> if you watch my vlog, you know that. Okay, but anyway, I was in the kitchen and I was getting coffee and um, I filled up my styrofoam cup kind of to the top of it, right? And I was sitting there and like I saw it like it had dribbled over the side and so this is the clumsy part of Peter. I turned it to kind of like lick it off and as I did, I tilted the, the cup, right? Now you can actually, here's my burn on my hand that you can still see, okay? This is from two and a half weeks ago. Now I turned the coffee cup like this as I was trying to lick it and you can actually see where the coffee, let me just give you, went down and then dribbled down my hand, okay? Now I cannot tell you the immense pain that I felt when this happened, right? So, I like clean up my mess. I'm like in so much pain. My hand is hurting so bad. I'm there with my best friend, right? And so, I clean it all up and I go and I sit down in the meeting. And I'm sitting there and so the meeting starts and then we split into smaller groups at this meeting. So anyway, um, we're sitting there and <laughs> before we split into small groups, like right at that point, like I took a picture of it and I sent it to my husband. So here's the picture that I sent to my husband um, of my hand burnt at that time. It actually looks better there than it did here, which is I guess pretty normal for burns. So anyway, I looked over at my best friend and um, I said, look what I did. And she ran into the kitchen and she got ice and she came over and she like said, put this on your hand, right? So then we split up into these small groups and I'm sitting in this group and a friend of mine is, you know, like a retired Marine and he was like, you know, you don't want to put ice on your hand right away. So I said, I know, but it, it feels so good. I don't want it like it's taking the pain away. He goes, I know, but you don't, what you want to do is you want to wash it, you know, with clean water and you want to like, you know, put like aloe on it and things like that. He was very nice. So I actually found out in asking my dad that ice on a burn immediately after it happens, because he said, my friend said that it, it you reburn the burn or something like that. My dad said, if actually what you want to do is put ice on it immediately, like that is accurate. Um, so Tanya was happy to hear that because she was like, so I did the right thing. I was like, yes, gal, you did the right thing. Um, but anyway, so, but my dad did say that like an hour later, you don't want to, because that's when people say like you reburn the burn. It can hurt it if you put it on there an hour later, because it's already started healing. So anyway, um, so I did all that and then I went home and then I talked to my dad the next day and he said, everything will be fine. Just put aloe on it. I had put aloe on it the night before I had washed it, cleaned it, all that kind of stuff. Right? So 
it kind of just didn't get any better. In fact, it started getting worse. And I thought like maybe it was like healing or whatever. And so I put that picture up. Okay, so this is the picture of it the next day. All right. And it started turning purple. And I don't know what I expected. I thought, you know, maybe it will, I don't know, like just go away overnight or something. But it didn't. So, you know, the days go by. It's been like a week. I'm like, I cannot believe this is still happening, right? So a week goes by, week and a half goes by. I'm getting ready. I'm going on a trip to Los Angeles again. And the hand is still like, it's horrible. Like it's, you know, like it's embarrassing. You can like, and it's like at this point, it's like blistering and things like that. So I'm going to put a picture of what it looked like right before I went to LA. So this is my picture of right before I went to LA. Not pretty, okay? I'm nobody's hand model. I'm just not, I wish I was. I wish I could be a hand model. Can you imagine? But anyway, those hand models I heard make quite a bit of money. So it just was getting blistery and, you know, like my dad said, no, that's your hand healing. It's just going to take some time. And he was like, you know, you might have a long-term scar. And he was like, are you still putting aloe on it? I said, I'm still putting aloe on it. I put a vino, like no scent lotion on it. That wasn't helping. I was cleaning it every day, a couple times a day. It, it was just, it seemed to be getting worse, not better. So I packed in a hurry for Los Angeles. When I was in, on my way, now I use, this is the beauty part of it. Every night I use the Benefit um, Hydrating Face Mask that you can sleep in. Every, I, I love that. It's one of my favorite masks of life. And I put it on my face every night before I go to bed. But the container is very heavy and I didn't want to take the container with me. I wanted to take lighter things. So I also equally love these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Masks, okay? So, and uh, you can see it right there. Now they're $2.50 at Walmart. I actually got mine at Meijer. I think they're about exactly the same price, if maybe not a little bit more. I know that I looked online and Target, they're a little bit more by like, you know, 10 cents or something like that. And um, so anyway, I took two of these out to LA for my face, okay, to sleep in overnight. And I was sitting around and I was like, that the first night that I was there and my hand, just like, I was like, I don't know what to put on it. I didn't bring any aloe out here. I didn't want to run back out and get any aloe. And it was kind of like hurting a little bit. And I was like, I don't know what to do to like, you know, so I went in and I washed my hand off. And the mask was sitting like on the bathroom because I'd like taken my stuff out, you know, you took it out and I put it out and all that kind of stuff, right? And um, so I had done the review that I did on here for before and um, where I did the eminence, lip tree and all this kind of stuff. So I had all this stuff sitting out here on the counter, right? And so I looked down and I thought, I wonder because if it's a hydrating mask, if it would hydrate my skin, like on my hand, like it would just make sense, right? That if you put it on your face to hydrate your face while you sleep overnight, then similarly, the same thing would happen if you put it on your hand. And my hand was dry and it was just, it didn't look pretty. Like I showed you the picture and you know, I just was like, I don't really like know what to do at this point because I'm not going to go to bed and not have anything on it. And it's just getting drier and drier and drier. My hotel room was very dry. I noticed that like the lotion that I was using out there, it was this Gilcrest and Soames like hotel, you know, lotion. It was very nice. Very nice. It's so nice. But but it just was like drying up my skin because I'm used to using a Vino lotion. And so I use the sleepy lotion from Lush too, but my favorite is the Aveeno lotion. I lotion from head to toe every day. So, um, so I was just sitting there and I thought, well, why not try this face mask on my hand? So I put it on there liberally, like, cause I know that people like that word, but I did. I put a lot of it on there and actually these, um, face masks, and the belief face, any face mask that you leave on overnight, it kind of dries a little bit within like the first like five to 10 minutes because you can sleep on it. You can like turn on your pillow and it doesn't like get your pillow wet, like, you know, from your face and stuff. I noticed that it didn't do that on my hands right away. Like I put a lot on my hand. I put a lot. And, um, I noticed that it was kind of like goopy. <laughs> Is that a review word? Goopy. But it was, it was kind of goopy. And, um, like I just, I thought this is stupid. This isn't going to do anything. Right. So I went to bed and I woke up the next day and I didn't even think anything about it. Didn't think about the mask on my hand. I was kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I didn't look at my hand right away. And I went in and I took a shower and you know, like got out of the shower and I was like looking at my hand and I was like, Oh my God. Like it was noticeably no, and this is not sponsored. I didn't get paid to do this review. I didn't get paid to do this. Y'all know I do 100% honest reviews over here. Um, I was like, I cannot believe this, right? Like, I just, like, honestly, I couldn't believe it. It, like, took away, like, a lot of, you could see, like, my hand is not, like, blistering anymore and stuff. It's just, it's, like, over here is, like, the only part that's kind of still rippled skin. And what was so weird was 
right here, you can see, I know the lighting is really, here, I'll turn down the, the light just a little bit so you can see my hand a little bit better. But if you look, you can see over here, it's like, the skin is like back to normal. Literally, you guys, in 24 hours. I could not believe it. I was just blown away. And um, so then I used the mask the second night. And when I woke up, I just was like, it was the same thing. Like, it's, I just, I could not believe it. That it took, and it, and it felt so good, too. I mean, it does. The hydrating face masks on your face feel really good. But this felt really good on my hand at night. And, you know, like, and I'll be honest, like, I don't know anything about the ingredients. That's why I said you want to consult with your physician and things like that first, you know. Um, and when I said something to my dad, my dad was like, well, it's a face mask, so I'm sure it's, it's safe on your hand if your hand's already healing. So, you know, but I have to say, for me, it, like, worked. It, like, worked miracles. And I've been putting it on my hand ever since then. And honestly, I mean... I could probably get like three or four uses out of this, not just for my face, but like if I was going to use it specifically for my burn, and I've done that ever since. And it's just really, really helping like my burn. Isn't that crazy? I would never have thought about that, you know? Now, I didn't do any of my other masks on there. I didn't do the cup of coffee face mask because I just don't need to tear away my skin and stuff like that. You know, but it makes sense that you're using something that's going to hydrate your face or your skin, right? That it would use it for that. So, I don't know if anybody else has talked about this on, the, on YouTube. I didn't look it up or anything like that. But if you ever have, you know, something that is not, like, we're not talking second and third degree burns. I don't know anything about that. Like I said, I'm not a physician. This is not an expert review. You want to consult with your doctor first and things like that. But for me, like, on this coffee burn, it really, really helped. I couldn't believe it. And, you know, everybody was telling me everything from use aloe to use this kind of lotion to use it. I mean, I got, you know, probably 20 different, use this kind of oil to 20 different kinds of suggestions that I got. And crazy enough. This is what worked the most. So I don't know. I just want to put that out there. I do say, I will, will say this. This is like next to the benefit uh, face mask. This is my all time overnight face mask. I absolutely love it. So like I said, $2.50 at Walmart. You can get a couple uses out of it. And I just like, if you peel it up and then you put it back down, it like stays closed and it stays like, you don't, probably not over two weeks, but like if you use it within like three or four days. So I don't know. I'd be interested. Has anybody ever used like something hydrating, like a face mask on their skin for like a burn or anything like that? And does it, did it help you at all? Um, let me know. And what's interesting about this is I was going to go today. This is when I, today was when I noticed like more of this, like really healing. I mean, it already had started, but like I noticed like in there. And I was going to go get the lotion that, you know, like you're supposed to put on burns and scars and things like that that start helping taking it away. And, um, cause there's, you know, all different kinds of lotions for that. I was going to go get one. And I was like, I don't know that I really need to do that now. You know, like this is really helping. So I don't know if you guys are interested, I'll probably keep you updated on my vlog and let you guys know what's happening. But yeah, I mean, I cannot believe it. I just, I honestly can't believe it. So I wanted to come on here and make a video about that. Um, I do think that, you know, like Neutrogena deserves, and I didn't use the belief face mask on my hand, so it could have equally worked as well as a hydrating face mask on my burn. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try that tonight and use a little bit of that on there instead and see if they both work equally well. But I thought that was interesting, and so thank you, Neutrogena. I really appreciate it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.